everyone. I hope you are continuing to stay safe. This week, two more people we support tested positive for COVID-19, bringing the total number to six people who are currently sick and one person who has recovered. A total of 11 of our staff members have tested positive for COVID-19 as well, which is one more since last week. Fortunately, all of the people we support and all of our staff members who have tested positive are in stable condition and the virus has not spread to any additional residential locations. Our staff members are continuing to do everything they can to keep people healthy and safe, including following guidelines from the Illinois Department of Public Health and the Illinois Department of Human Services. The Department of Public Health recently issued new guidance for healthcare workers to help minimize chances of bringing COVID-19 home. These guidelines were distributed to Trinity staff this week. They emphasize the importance of changing and washing clothes, showering, and taking off shoes right away when returning home from work. Trinity's president and CEO, Thane Dykstra, will present a Zoom meeting at 6.30 p.m. on Wednesday, May 13th to further discuss Trinity's ongoing response to COVID-19. He will also answer questions from families and supporters. More information about how to register for this meeting will be sent out in the near future. Trinity staff members signed a Trinity Strong pledge last week to reaffirm their commitment to keeping those around them and themselves safe. In return, they are each going to receive a free membership to the Calm smartphone app, which features guided meditations, relaxing music, calming stories, and more, and they are eligible for other prizes down the road. This week, there were many celebrations throughout Trinity as direct support professionals who made the commitment to shelter in place at group homes for the previous 30 days ended their stays. Their colleagues gathered outside to cheer them on from a safe distance as they ended their 30-day shifts. In other locations, DSPs have signed on to stay an additional two weeks and, in some cases, an additional 30 days to continue to keep homes as safe as possible. We are so grateful to all DSPs who made the sacrifices and commitment necessary to stay in place at group homes for any amount of time to keep people safe. They are true heroes. This week, curriculum and materials regarding rights, like freedoms of speech, religion, association, and equal opportunity and equal protections, were distributed to all residential locations. People participated in a matching game regarding rights received a reminder about Trinity's Listening Ear program that allows people to call a number to leave a message any time of day about a concern or to express comments, created a Bill of Rights for an imagined new planet, expressed their feelings regarding the coronavirus pandemic, and more. Also this week, Trinity's TADA committee, which recognizes people for their achievements, presented awards for the first time virtually these presentations were made using Zoom. Typically, people receive a reward of their choice and a certificate when they receive a TADA. These will be delivered when it is safe to do so following the pandemic. For now, it brightened everyone's days to see each other's faces and virtually celebrate the award winner's accomplishments. Also this week, people continued to enjoy painting, crafting, cooking, and more. Though our day programs remain temporarily closed, staff members from Trinity's horticulture program are moving forward with the spring sale. The greenhouse at 100 North Galger Road in Joliet will be open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday, as well as Saturdays by appointment only. A variety of spring flower cells and flats, hanging baskets, Planters, individual plants, grasses, and herbs are available. Look for Trinity Services, Inc.'s Horticulture Program page on Facebook for more information. 
Additionally, our support business, All Area Custom Designs, is accepting orders for customizable items like graduation t-shirts. Email allarea at trinityservices.org or call 815-726-8323 to place an order. The Roxy Special Event Venue in Lockport is also creating masks in a variety of prints for both children and adults. These masks are available for sale and 10% of proceeds benefit Trinity. Masks with elastic are $5 each and masks with string ties are $7 each. To place an order, call or text 815-582-1306 or send the Roxy Lockport page a message on Facebook. As we continue to move through this crisis, we continue to be so thankful for the dedication of our supporters and family members. We have received so many generous monetary donations as well as much needed supplies like ear savers for masks. Additionally, some have donated jigsaw puzzles and other activities and subscription services that can keep people engaged while staying at home. If you would like to help in this way, we are creating an Amazon wish list for these types of items and we will share this soon. In the meantime, other ideas could include Netflix subscriptions for the houses, art supplies, board games, and supplies for sports, like kickballs or footballs. As a reminder, the Coleman Foundation is matching dollar for dollar any donations made to Trinity Services between now and June 1st, up to $25,000. We are also in need of positive messages, selfies, and videos to share this coming Tuesday, May 5th, for Giving Tuesday Now. We have barely received any submissions and we would love to share your smiles with the people we support and our other supporters. Please participate by sharing a selfie. If you need some inspiration, consider writing out your answer to the question, what would you say to someone to make them smile? Thank you for your ongoing support. We will get through this together. Together, we are Trinity Strong. Stay safe and we'll see you next week.